All right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. How you doing? I hope you're doing all right. We're just uh, loading up here because it refuses to go past 90. There we go. Hey, Miss Grimm. Oh. You're going to catch a chill dressed like that. Morning, dear. You seem to have everything well in order here. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. What's going on, okay. old man? A new day awaits. Mood seems pretty good around here. It does. Yeah. Well, guess we should enjoy it while it lasts. All right, Arthur. Good morning. Good morning, Herr Strauss. Good morning. All right, time to see what the fuck Micah wants. <laughs> God damn. Micah? Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called... Hey, Molly, where's Dutch? Well, however it goes. I'm not sure all that line of thought serves you and me very well. Uh, that's because, Cowpoke, you are a man of profoundly limited intelligence. No doubt. Well, you and the old man and Dutch have been running around, digging us ever deeper into shit. Old Mr. Pearson might have gone and lightened the load a little. Pearson! Ain't you curious? I guess. Gentlemen. Dutch, you tell him, fat man. It's peace, Dutch. The O'Driscolls. I mean, I think there's a way. What on earth are you talking about? Get the words out properly, fat man. I met a couple of the O'Driscoll boys on the road in the town. Things were about to get ugly, but you know how I am in a fight, huh? Like a corner tiger. <laughs> anyway, somehow it didn't, but we got to talking, and they suggested a parlay to end things like gentlemen. Gentlemen, <laughs> Comb O'Driscoll. <clears throat> Have you lost your minds? You're always telling us, Dutch. Do what has to be done, but don't fight wars ain't worth fighting. They want a parley? It's a trap. Well, of course, it's probably a trap. But what do we got to lose finding out? Get shot. We ain't getting shot because you'll be protecting us. It's a trap. You shoot the lot of them. If it ain't a trap, that's slim chance. I don't see the point in any of this. It's a chance. Gotta take. I killed Combs' brother. Long time ago. Then he killed a woman I loved dear. Mm. As you say, it's a long time ago. Gotcha. Let's go. You and me, with Arthur protecting us, no one else. What about me? This ain't the time for tigers, my friend. Uh, All right. Fine. Now like Jose said, Morgan. it's it's probably a fucking yeah. trap. Hey, boy. He called it from the get go. All right, Micah. Let's go then. Mrs. Adler. God help anyone who tries to get past you. <laughs> you know, I've been fighting Comb for so long now, I can barely remember a time when it was different. And you're still fighting him now. Make no mistake of that. Here he goes, Doubting Thomas. Is there any plan you ain't sour on? Oh, uh, maybe you're right. Just nervous. Let's not waste any more lives needlessly. I ain't costing lives here. I'm saving them. What did you say? We had Pinkertons coming after us. Because of Blackwater. And Leviticus Cornwall and his private army. Then who knows when this local hillbilly thing will come to a head. Hmm? Can we really afford to be fighting on all these fronts? And O'Driscoll. There is wisdom in that. Uh, I hope so, gentlemen, but like I said, I'm nervous. Look. You ain't even 
going to be the one in danger. So get on over there, find a nice perch for you to settle into. You got that rifle, don't you? Yeah, yeah. Then me and Dutch walk right in to the lion's den. With you to cover us, hmm? Okay. Just keep calm, unless I give you a reason not to. Oh, we'll be fine. We got you. I will do my best. Oh, my dear and trusted friend, with you watching over me, I would walk into hell itself. As would I. Well, okay, but I'd say it'd be safe not to treat it as if this little uh, feud's already over. There's zero guarantee of that. Hey! Up. There! Men on the ridge! Old Driscoll's from the look of them. I don't like yep, having eyes them. on us. We're close. You'll be the eyes soon enough. Maybe he's right, Dutch. Maybe I have pushed too hard. Got us into situations that could have been safer. Yeah, you have. Just, I see all those mouths we gotta feed, and I, I dream too big, caring too much. That's my problem. Caring sure. too much. There's no such thing. This is horse shit from both of you. It might be. <laughs> Micah might be full of shit. He is. Colm O'Driscoll might be full of shit. Definitely the is. The promise of this great nation. Men created equal. Liberty and justice for all. That might be nonsense too. But it's worth trying for. It is worth believing in. Can't you see that, friend? I don't know. Try. All I ask is you try. All right, cowpoke. You're going to peel off up ahead. We'll be meeting down on the plane. Find a spot just above us where you can keep an eye on things. All right, all right. However this shakes out, let's aim to meet back at the fork in the road afterwards. We'll be there, partner. All right, let's get up there and get it done. Yeah, you all right there, boy? It's a vulture, holy shit. Dutch. It's been a while. <clears throat> sure. So, uh, how's your gang doing? They still believing in you? Better world. Pure world. Hmm? How's that coming along? Just fine. Mm. How's that score you stole off us? Which one? <laughs> oh, I like that. It's like I said, is it? Charismatic leader. A lot of heat on us this time. Both of us. A whole heap of trouble. They offered me a price, Dutch, to bring you in. Why didn't you take it? Well, I still might. I am sorry about your brother. Yeah, well, I never liked him much. I liked Annabelle. 
You always love the ladies, Dutch Vanderlyn. I like that about you. What are we doing here? Go home. Is this thing over? Holy shit. Knew it was a trap. <laughs> Hello, sugar. <laughs> you ain't dead, is you? <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> you <ain't>. <laughs> 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 uh, I don't know. Column's got a sense. <clears throat> Handing him over to the law. It's, I don't know. Strange times. They killed Seamus. Fuck the whole lot of them. With this fella Colum's right, we can draw them all back. True. Yeah. Where'd Colum and Patrick head off to? In a town, I think, to speak to the law. He's escaping! Shoot him! Relax! Relax! I got it! I got it! <laughs> Did I kill you? Oh, not yet! <laughs> uh, no, of course not. <laughs> not yet. But I will. Put his weapons over there! Dutch preach true. Let me go, Cone, and end all this crap between you two. We all got real problems now. The way I see it, they get him. They forget about me. They ain't the forgetting sort. If I were you, I'd run as soon as I had the money. <laughs> oh, I know you would. Let's see. We lure an angry Dutch in to rescue you, grab all of you, and hand you in, then disappear. So you only met with him to grab me? Of course. He's gonna be so mad, he gonna come raging over here, and a whole lot of you, and the law will be waiting for him. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Arthur, I missed you. Got control back.
you gotta cauterize it. Fuck. Ah, yeah. oh, shit. doing down there it's one thing torturing a man it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland you better hurry it up i don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef <sighs> right, my guns are over there prisoners out don't let them get our ah, weapons Free! If you I can't, I can't move. Oh shit, I'm stuck. A drink for your crystal who killed this cocksucker. Eh, that was bad. Okay. Retry from checkpoint. What's he still doing down there? It's one thing torturing a man, it's another thing putting him through stories of the homeland. You better hurry it up. I don't want to be here when the law comes for that side of beef. There we go, I couldn't aim for a second. So we can get straight across the river. <laughs> I'm going too wide. I don't know why the camera keeps pointing me that way. We're about halfway across.
Forster. I told you it was a setup, Dutch. Oh, my boy, my dear boy, what? They got me. I got away. Yeah, yeah, you did. Miss Grimshaw, I need help. Reverend Swanson. He's gonna set the law on us. No, oh, of course he was. I'm sorry, Arthur. It is a bit late for apologies. Swanson! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan, you're safe now! Oh, let's get him to bed! You are safe now, Arthur. Okay. I got you. You're safe now. That's pretty, Tuss. That's, that's real pretty. Miss Grimshaw, will you sit with him a while? Of course. You'll be okay, Mr. Morgan. You're home. I thought I'd be burying you, Mr. Morgan. Well, not quite yet, Reverend. <laughs> Good. How you feeling? Oh, uh, about the same as you. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> well, take care of yourself. You too. At least we're alive. Uh, what did I miss? Let me see what I missed. Free yourself and perform self surgery in one. Okay. Kill the ultra members that. Oh! Kill them. Okay. Didn't think I was in too big a position for that. Uh, what's this? On the. Oh, that's Bill Elsewhere. Okay. Well, I think we may have time to get Mr. Morgan here a goddamn haircut. This shocking, it's becoming very tiresome. Everything's tiresome to you these days. You've barely Ooh. touched me in weeks. What do you want from me? To be treated with some respect and affection. Oh. All them out there, they're laughing at me. You think this is the way to a man's affection? Moping and pestering all the damn day? Can I, oh, there I can do a lot worse than that. Is that a threat? Another great way to a man's affection. Collect oh, a little bit up. of debt money from uh, debtors. We're going to ignore mama and dada. And daddy fighting over there. Oh my god. And. What do you want to do? Restock. Restock food. Restock ammo. We're good oh, on gosh. ammo, don't we? See, just like that. They just had a fight and now they're back to loving each other. You know. Huh? Oh, what was that? What's up? You know something, Arthur? What? You was always special to me. All these years. All these things we done. Good things. Bad things. All these people we seen passed on. You was always special. Well, that's nice. We live in or die in this time, Dutch. I guess we'll find out soon enough. You're right, I suppose. Well, let's, uh... Yeah, let, yeah let's go get a haircut. Because, uh, not Rhodes. 
Where is Valentine? It's the only place that I know of where you can so far. I think it is the only place, like, that we have discovered the, thus far where you can get a haircut. special and shit, don't they? Damn. Although I do feel like that took about as much time as it would to just ride up to up to Valentine. Excuse me, sir. Thanks, Mr. Sheriff. Morning, son. Excuse me. Better like you. Knows how to carry himself. Hey, easy. Hey, I'm sorry, sorry. Morning. Yeah, just here for a haircut. Howdy. Morning. Hello there. Greetings. You hear about that ruckus over at the hotel? Someone brought some new girls into town. Caused quite a stir. Styles, let's style it. And then I also want to stop by the gun store. So, what are we doing? All right, just don't try to cut it yourself. <laughs> Morning, pardon. How you doing? Howdy, fellas. Been a while since you've been back, hasn't it? Yes, it what has. What can I do for you? Okay, I just want to see if you see. got anything new. No, well, nothing new is unlocked thus far. I don't think. And that I don't already have. Never mind. Worth a shot. Thanks, partner. Roll, pal. All right, we're gonna take a but uh, not a buggy with the carriage back down the roads. Still worth it. Still worth the trip. I want to ride just a little bit out of town because I want to make sure I have the correct weapons just in case.
See, what is the Cattleman Revolver doing there? gentlemen what we got going on been waiting for you Arthur well I'm sorry to have kept you come on let's get going what's the plan we're meeting a couple of the grays over at the saloon they spoke to Bill about a job needing security After the farce is stealing the horses for them why are we doing this because we need to stay in with them and they're paying so what kind of security they want we're about to find out now come on this seem legit to you, Bill? Sure. Dutch said we was to keep on dealing with them until we find this gold. Can we trust them? Can we trust anyone? Yeah. Let's just see what they say. They said there was some big misunderstanding about them horses. And what if they were born in their fields? They don't know we had anything to do with that. Oh, that's so? Yeah. They think it was the Braithwaite's. Listen, I know these great boys a bit now. This is on the level. We're stuck in the middle of some ancient feud, but instead of playing both sides, we're being used by both of them. They were saying that Catherine Braithwaite... Hey, hold up. This don't feel right. Now it don't feel right. I could have told you... <laughs> oh, Holy shit, it popped off real quick. Let's go. Damn traps he gonna get us in, Micah. How could you think this was a trap? You sure you wanna talk about this now, Morgan? Run it on bullets here! You see a way out of here? Alright now. Hang on a stand up good. Gotcha. All right, up we go, in we go. Shut up. Do you see that window in Sean's skull? Don't talk to me about slapping. They're in here, not there. They're in the ghost now. Oh, you're the one that's in the sun. Come on. Where's the rest of them? You're dead. So yeah. Thinking the craze might be on to us after all. Maybe they are. I don't know. Have. Damn loop! We ain't getting out of this with nothing. That's assuming we even get out of it. Of course we're getting out of it. This is you and me, Morgan. We always get the job done. You call this getting the job done? You see Bill anywhere? Uh, no. Shit. See that? Those cowards are running away. Looks like most of them. Not all of them. Sheriff Gray. And what about Bill? Where the hell's he? We'll find him later. Come on. Sheriff Gray! You need to get a hold of on this town. It's going to hell. Who do you think you are? Bunch of two big thugs from God knows where? You so dumb to think we don't know what you've been doing. Come out, Sheriff. It's over. We put down far worse than you, a hundred times over. 
This is the Grey's town. Always has been, always will be. Only Grey's I see left around here is you. You want us to come out? We'll come out. Yes. Ah, oh, Bill. Guns on the ground now. Both of you, don't do it. You know we can't do that. You put the gun down, Chef. I'll blow his brains out! You want to join your little friend there, do you? Either way, you're a dead man. Morgan? Shit! He was a good kid. Well, how the hell was I to know? Let me see. They set us up once before. They didn't like us. We destroyed their farm. Should I go on? Go easy on him, Morgan. He was out trying to find a lead. Same as you, same as Hosea. All you do is complain when things don't work out. Except when it's your goddamn fault. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't give a damn about nobody but yourself. Oh, you act so high and mighty, but you're no better than the rest of us. I've ridden with you boys close on what? Six months now? And all you ever done was complain. And you can fight, but you can't think. You can't do either. <laughs> okay, cowpoke. Bill, take the boy's body. Bury him proper someplace quiet. <clears throat> Mark ya? Best you and I don't speak for a moment. <laughs> I'm just so frightened by you. Get out of my sight, pair of fools. He was like an annoying little brother to me. What fun we had riding together. What a goddamn mess we are making of things. Oh, shit. Goddamn. It's all locked down, Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean to do that, but oh, using only sidearms. Interesting. All right, so wait, where? Oh, all we really have left is this. So let's head back to camp. Yep. I assume we're about ready to pack up, so it doesn't make too much sense to go hunting. seen that boy jack no oh. where's my goddamn son where is he where's my son they took him didn't they they took my son who took him we think the braithwaite woman took him oh but kieran saw a couple of fellows sound like braithwaite boys where's my son if anything I... where is my son dutch vandalin we will find him we will bring him back to you and we will kill any fool that had the temerity to touch one hair on that boy's head abigail you have my word. Just get me back, my son. I will get that boy back, so help me God. Right now. Dutch! We just heard about Jack. You need some extra guns? Yeah, why not? Micah, Kieran, anyone strange turns up, you kill him. Rest of you, let's ride. Okay, let's go get that boy back. Off we go. They must have figured out what we was up 
two deck. Yeah, we just got shot to hell by the Greys in town. I know. I heard about Sean too. I don't want to even think about that right now. We have to focus on Jack. I swear, I'll kill everyone there. Easy, John. Try to stay calm. I'm fine. How the hell did they get to him? I don't know, but we are getting him back and they will pay. I promise you that. What about the gold? Who gives a damn about the gold? They got Jack. I hate to break it to you, but I don't think there is any gold. Yeah, we're there not is, sure it's, it's real. hidden somewhere no one knows. What? I've turned every stone. Christ's sake, Hosea. After all that, another perfect scam. We underestimated them. No, they underestimated us. Enough talk. There is no point arguing how we got here. This is where we are. And we are going to fix it. So come on. Well, leave the area with a bang. Okay, get your heads right. Nobody makes a move until I say so. Come on, let's get this done. John, you sure you're okay? Like I said, I'm fine. Follow my lead. Both these redneck families think they can ruin us? I don't think so. There they are. Who steals a goddamn boy? I'm gonna let fly at those sons of bitches! John, I need you to stay calm. Trash! What the hell do you want? Easy, John. We've come for the boy. You must have known we would. You shouldn't have messed with our business now, should you? Whatever complaint you have with us, alleged or otherwise, that is a young boy. That is not the way you do things. Hand him over. Get the hell off our land. If you ain't gonna be civilized about this, Let's get her done! Upstairs. Shit. Doc, 
Arthur, we'll hold them down here. We got more coming in. Shit. Arthur, get out there. We got this door covered. Where's the boy? Well, we have lived in this house for 120 years. We never had no problem except for Where Yankees. Where is the boy? Who took him? You killed my son. Oh, and I will surely kill the rest of them unless you start talking. Oh, I know your time. Common scum. Where is the boy? You filth. All right. We get her out of here. Uh, uh, what about them? Now let's get this hag outside. Any more of her sons to deal with? No, we reckon they're all dead. That's right. Burn this dog to the ground. You boys sure Jack ain't in here. We searched everywhere, Dutch. Ain't seen him. You got me, Arthur! I guess that's the end of the goddamn cribbage game. Come here! <laughs> Never liked you. Why'd you take the boy, Mrs. Braithwaite? You stole Boys my Boys are off limits. You stole my horses. Ain't no rules in war, Mr. Matthews. Yes, yes, that's it. Where's the boy? My sons gave him to Angelo Bronte. So my guess is Saint Denis. Either there. Or on my boat to Italy. Let's go. Arthur, come on. <laughs> what are we doing with her? Leave her. I told you she was crazy. <laughs> It's gonna work out, John. 
It's gonna work out. Listen to Dutch. Now, I don't expect you to understand this, but I have never been more proud of you than I am right now, brother. You're doing the right thing. If I don't get that boy back safe, I'm... She... She'll kill us all. I know, but looking at this logically, well, that boy is fine. They took him to scare us. Nobody takes a boy to harm him. He's right, John. What do you think, Arthur? My boy will be fine. But, well, of course, Marston scared rotten. We, we killed all those people. We stirred up all that trouble <laughs> for nothing. No, no, not for nothing. For living. Now, we get that boy back, and we go. Trust me. Hey, Dutch, we got a problem. Not a problem. Visitors. A solution. Good day, fine people. Mr. Vanderlind, Mr. Matthews, I presume. And who are you? Rip Van Winkle. Huh. Good day, sir. Agent Milton, Pinkerton Detective Agency. Agent Ross. Ah, Mr. Morgan, nice to see you again. And to what do we owe the pleasure, Agent Moron? I don't know if you're aware, but this... This is a civilized land now. We didn't kill all them savages only to allow the likes of you to act like human dignity and basic decency was outmoded or not yet invented. This thing, it's done. This place ain't no such thing as civilized. It's man, so in love with greed, he has forgotten himself and found only appetites. And as a consequence, that lets you take what you please, kill whom you please, and hang the rest of us? Who made you the messiah to these lost souls you've led so horribly astray? I'm nothing but a seeker, Mr. Milton. You ain't much of anything more than a killer, Mr. Vanderlind. But I came to make a deal. It's time. You come with me, and I give the rest of you three days to run off disappear and go and live like human beings someplace else. You came for me? Risk life and limb in this den of lowlifes and murderers so that they might live and love? <sighs> Ain't that fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to kill all these folk, Dutch. Just you. In that case, it'll be my honor to join you. Excuse me, friends. I have an appointment to keep with. I think your new friend should leave now, Dutch. You're making a big mistake, all of you. <laughs> yeah, dreadful. We have got something. Something to live and die for. How awful for us. Mr. Milton, stop following us. We'll be gone soon. I'm afraid I can't. And when I return, I'll be with 50 men. All of you will die. Run away from this place, you fools. Run. Come on. Get your damn hands off of me, boy. What now? We get out of here. And quick. Any ideas? I know a big old house. Hidden in the swamps outside San Denis. I'm sure they'll find us eventually, but it should buy us a few days. A few days is all we need. There's a spot out by Shady Bell. Lenny and I got into that dispute with the previous occupiers. Place is well hidden. You and Arthur, ride out to make sure no one else has moved in. Lenny, go follow those fools out of here. Make sure that they leave. And John, we'll get Jack back, and we'll get going. Rest of you, get packing! All right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, when we return in a moment, we're going to uh go clear out Shady Bell again if we need to and move the camp over there. So I thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. If you're on YouTube, please like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already. And I'll be back in a moment. Mm -hmm.